we got this question recently from different uh, top MNCs. What is the periodic loss dependencies in the fusion and EBS application? So, Oracle company provided seeded or predefined process to close the periods in live environment. Let me explain. Uh, when we are implementing the fusion financials, procurement, different subledger application, we should follow as per Oracle standard methodology. First, we need to complete the I expenses uh, uh, submitted reports like uh, employee travel bills. We have to complete, approve, bring to the payable. First, we need to complete the payable without exception, close the payable period. Once payable uh, period is closed, we will be run the accrued accounting for procurement receiving as expense debit accrued credit that will move to GL, we will post and reverse it. Then once close the payable, we will do the cost management activities, cost valuation activities will be completed. Then projects we will be close it. And once close the these three sub ledger, we will close the fixed assets application, then receivable application, and there are uh, any order management related activities. We will complete order management before receivables. Uh, like uh, we will be bring the payroll entries to GL, like the salaries. Any lease accounting is there, we will bring to GL. Then cash management, uh, cash management, we don't have the, any period of open activities, but we will do the uh, AR receipt uh, clearing, clearing activities, AP payment, uh, reconciliation entries will move to GL. We will close the GL last. So logically, we will close the AP first. Remaining activities will be followed as per the chart. Thank you, guys.